Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for watching my videos. This video is in a series of videos where we are talking about responsibilities of seafarers or various designations on board a merchant ship. In this specific video, we are going to talk about duties and responsibilities of trainees. Basically, I'll be covering both deck and engine trainees because the main purpose of them being on board is training. They do not have much of a responsibility as such because they are under training. However, they do perform many tasks as part of their training regime on board the ship. Talking about how to get selected as a dedicated for engine trainee, that itself is a uh, huge topic which I will do a separate video. However, in this video, we will talk about only the responsibilities or the duties of the trainees. Talking about salaries, again, uh, these uh, trainees are paid salaries or rather stipend, you can call it, anywhere ranging from $250 to $700 to $800 based on the nationality, the vessel type, the companies, and of course, if there are any national regulations, then they stipulate the salaries to be paid to the trainees. Let's go into the video. Let's start with deck trainees. Deck trainee is basically uh, called a deck cadet who is under training on the deck side. Basically, deck cadet will get trained to become the third officer, then the second officer, then the chief officer, then the master. That is his career progression on board the ship. For his duties, let's go point by point. Assign, assisting with navigation, maintenance and safety operation on the ship's deck. Basically, he is going to assist everybody. He might assist the ratings with their chipping and painting and the maintenance, the fabric maintenance of the vessel. He will main, he will assist or he or she will assist in navigation to the second officer or the third officer. He can keep a lookout. He can get trained in steering the vessel. He can get trained in taking the compass error in the celestial navigation. He can also do plotting of vessels using of the vessel using the celestial navigation method. And in case of safety operations, he can again assist third officer in maintenance of the LSA and FFA items, that is the life-saving appliances and the firefighting appliances, maintenance of lifeboat, maintenance of SCBA, etc. etc. So basically he will be going through all around on the deck side and try to understand what is happening and how the jobs are performed on board the ship. He will also be in the cargo watch where he will be learning what is the cargo, how it is being loaded, what are the parameters to check and how a loading plan is being made and how the cargo discharging is completed including how the ballast is being taken on board the ship. Learning and practice basic seamanship skills such as rope handling, cargo loading and unloading and anchoring. Another part of the training will be his berthing and unberthing stations and related activities around that. Like he has to learn what are the moorings, how they are passed, what are the safety precautions to be taken during the moorings and maintenance of ropes and wires, how the ropes and wires are maintained. These all the tasks will be done by him because it is the best way of training is to do the job under a proper supervision. Cargo loading and unloading also is a very complicated procedure or a process where a lot of parameters come into play. It also involves tank cleaning or the hold cleaning between two cargos as required. There can be two grades of cargos on a tanker which has to, which cannot be loaded one after another. Hence, the cargo tanks have to be cleaned in between the discharging and loading of the next cargo. There can be cleaning and demucking, that is removing muck from the ballast tanks. Ballast tanks are basically tanks where the sea water is loaded for the stability of the vessel. There are instances where there can be some issues inside 
the tanks some equipments may not work the valves may not function in some ships the pumps are also in the cargo tanks the pumps may have problems so in all this situation the deck trainee goes and assists the team which is actually working on the valve or the equipment to understand how it is actually done including what are the safety precautions and what is the standard operating procedures as laid out in the company sms manuals keeping the ship's log and maintaining records of cargo and equipment this is again a very important task of anybody on the ship for that matter where all the operations are logged and recorded for future references hence the trainee is also put through the exercise of recording all the operations including the records of the cargo and the navigation to understand the importance of record keeping where in case of any incident all these logbooks will be checked and scrutinized as a evidence for the incident participate in watches to ensure the ship's safe operation again as i mentioned the navigation watches and the cargo watches these are the two main watches which will be happening on board the ship the anchor watch and the anti piracy watch all come under the navigation watch basically these two watches ensure the trainees understanding of the cargo operation and the vessel's navigation including identification of the vessels during the navigation and how to take actions what are the procedures to be followed when the master to be called etc next comes assisting the senior officers with any other duties as required so the officers senior officers in in the sense mean the third officer the second officer the chief officer and the master they might have various tasks which they might assign to the cadet under the supervision to ensure he learns various aspects of the same job at different levels he can be doing the same cargo operation at a rating level he can do the same operation at a third officer second officer and the chief officer level where the perspective of different ranks doing the same operation differs vastly that completes the small brief description on the duties and tasks of the deck cadet now let's go to the duties and responsibilities of engine cadet assisting the engineers in carrying out routine and periodic maintenance of the main engine and auxiliary machinery such as pumps compressors and boilers similar to the deck side the engine cadet is also involved in all the operations of the engine room where there are any maintenance happening there are watches being kept there are parameters being checked there are logbooks being filled all the tasks involves the engine trainee to ensure he is exposed to all parts of the operation of the engine room to ensure he has a holistic knowledge before he goes for his first certificate of competency performing daily checks on on the auxiliary engines generators and other equipments to ensure they are in good working condition taking a walk around in the engine room and hearing the sounds of the machinery itself gives whether the operating parameters are good of the machines there are also specific parameters like pressures the temperature etc which give the indication of the optimum performance of the machineries the engine trainee is put on to this task of monitoring and checking the parameters of various machineries in his daily rounds and also to familiarize himself with the various sounds in the engine room and to distinguish between normal and abnormal sounds the daily task of monitoring the parameters helps him in the long run in getting accustomed to various natural sounds of the engine room maintaining the inventory of engine spares and consumables and ensuring that they are properly stored and accounted for this is one of the most important tasks on board a engine room or for that matter on the ship itself because the ship is always sailing from port a to port b and in case the ship requires some urgent spares out at sea they don't have a choice to get out and get spare from the store ashore hence 
they have to have sufficient spares and stores to ensure in case anything goes wrong during the voyage they are able to repair on board without any assistance from the shore hence inventory of stores and spares is a very very important task which has to be carried out by everybody on board the ship trainees are put into the task of taking regular inventories and also updating inventories after the spares are being used to ensure the trainees are well accustomed to the practice of maintaining proper inventory lists and the data is up to date so that in case of any emergency or a maintenance which is required the available spares and stores are easily accessible it is possible that if the inventory is not kept even though the store is available or the spare is available on the ship it will be very difficult to find it at the right time hence the inventory of spares and stores is a very very important task and the trainee is trained on maintaining the same participate in preparation of ship's engine room for port arrival and port departure again as i mentioned during the cadet's time where the, he involves get involved in the cargo operation similarly the engine trainee gets involved in the arrival and departure of the vessel to a port this operation is very critical as the parameters of the engine change the maneuvering changes maneuvering requirements change and there can be many critical situations developing during the vessel's arrival and departure from a port hence the trainee is ensured to be at the engine room in the engine room observing all the operations being carried out and in case of any situation arising how the same is managed by the engine room team this gives him a overall perspective of the operations of the engine room while arriving and departing from a port which is very very important in his long career at sea keeping the ship's log and maintaining records of machinery again i mentioned during the video of the deck trainee maintaining logs is very very important and the same is trained to the engine trainee as well he takes care and notes all the parameters the fuel available the consumption and many other requirements of the engine control room and the engine machineries to ensure he gets a fair idea of the requirements of the engine room and how the engine room performs satisfactorily so that completes a small video on the duties and responsibilities of the deck trainees and the engine trainees i hope you enjoyed this video please do like share and subscribe to the channel and please also put in your comments and feedbacks of the quality of the video and if any improvements need to be done i will also appreciate if you suggest any topics which you would like to see videos in the future where i would be happy to include that in my forthcoming videos thank you so much take care bye bye have a nice day